Okay, so what's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is July 28, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video, and we have a big breaking news, red alert, Benjamin issues chilling warning after brutal strike. From Hezbollah. So the Holy Land Prime Minister has issued yet another warning to Hezbollah as tensions rise in the region, sparking fears of WW3. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go. WW3 warning Vladimir and the Bear Country would crush British Army. Look at this in a matter of days. Once again, the general earlier this week said the UK needs to be ready to write a biblical war in three years. I just don't see that happening in three years, guys. I do believe that it might happen in the next six months. Remember, Joe, he said that he's going to get a lot of stuff uh, ready in the last six months of his spotlight. We have more breaking news updates when it comes to the power outage going on. And here we go. Once again, reports of power outages hit Paris amid 2024 games. And we're going to see what's going on with all these information here, guys. Now, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Let's see what's going on here, guys. So, Benjamin is sounding the alarm. Benjamin has issued a chilling warning to Persia. Backed Hellsbow claiming they will pay a heavy price for its latest strike on the Holy Land. And for those of you that missed that breaking news, the Holy Land, they got hit. They got hit really hard. Multiple young ones were taken out. It was like, you know, 10 years old and all that. And Benjamin was on a plane heading towards his uh, homeland. And he said when, you know, he mentioned that uh, there would be uh, a huge response once he stepped foot in the Holy Land he's going to be dropping a hammer on Persia uh, bad groups, house ball a spokespo uh, spokesperson for the Holy Land Prime Minister added that the heavy price will be one that it has not paid so far after a rocket strike on a football field has taken young ones it is the worst strike on the Holy Land target along the country's northern border since the fighting between the Holy Land and Hellsboro erupted and risked a wider conflict in the region as WW3 fears rise. It says here, the Holy Land blamed the lab militant group for the strike in the Holy Land control heights, but Hellsboro has denied any involvement. Uh-oh. Because Hellsboro knows that uh, the Holy Land they don't play. They don't play. You strike them again, you guys know how the Holy Land I mean, you know, you strike them, they come after you. I mean, they won't let you sleep in this and that. So the Holy Land military branded it a very serious event and said it would respond. Chief spokesman said Hezbollah fire a rocket at young ones playing soccer in Northern Holy Land. It then lied and claimed they did not carry out the strike. He said it was... Very powerful strike on the Holy Land, civilians since the October event. Wow. So besides those taken out, <coughs> this person said that 20 others were also impacted. Hmm. 
This event shows the true face of Houseball, a T organization that targets and take out young ones playing soccer on a Saturday evening. Houseball is wrong for doing that. Absolutely. You know, you don't do that. Especially, you know, there's young ones playing. But, but, the Holy Land is also wrong because they take out young ones too. N-G-A-Z-A strip. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, so I'm not siding with them, but the Holy Land, the Holy Land has taken out uh, 40,000. Most of them were women's and young ones. I'm just saying. All right, Holy Land, you can't be like that. You can't be like that. Again, you call them the T organization for taking out young ones, but Holy Land, don't be a hypocrite, Holy Land. You guys are doing, the, I mean, you guys are dropping the hammer. So many young ones are being impacted. However, Houseboat chief spokesman told the AP that the group categorically denies carrying out a strike. Now, Houseboat does not usually deny strike and is responsible for. Now, the office of the Holy Lamb, Mr. Benjamin, who was on a visit to the sleeping giant, said he would cut short his trip by several hours. Uh-oh. That means that, um, yep, he's going to be grabbing that sandal, and, you know, that's it. You know, he's going to be punishing. So without specifying when he would return, it said he would convene the security cabinet after arriving. Once again, the militant group said its fighters carry out nine different strikes using rockets and other uh, devices, drones against the Holy Land military post, the last of which targeted the army command of the... Yeah, I'm going to skip all that name there. So it said it was a response to the Holy Land airstrike on the villages in Southern Lab. All right, so they basically said we struck that region because they struck us. Yeah, but uh, you don't strike a, you know, a stadium with young ones in it or, you know, a soccer field. The strike followed earlier cross-border event on Saturday when Hellsbo said three of its fighters were taken out without specifying where. Now, the Holy Land military said its Air Force impacted a Hellsbo arms depot on the border village of that region, adding that militants were out inside at the time. Mm. Once again, my deepest condolence and prayers goes to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. All right, so we're going to go with the next one here. So Benjamin, um, he did left the U.S. He was on a plane when all that happened. He should be there by now, if I'm not mistaken. See, right now it's 12.46 a.m. You guys are getting this video at 2.48 a.m. Big shout out to the platform. Uh, they only send out notification at that time. Um, but uh, again, guys, uh, it's, it should be daytime out there in the Holy Land. Let's see what's going on with this story. This is something that a lot of people do not know. Uh, once again, this information is coming out. Well, it came out a few hours ago. So it says, WW3 warning, the bear leader and the bear country will crush British Army in a matter of days. In a matter of days? What's going on here? Let's see what's going on in this one. Britain's armed forces would be lucky to hold the bear back for a fortnight in the event of a conventional biblical war, a former officer has warned. And Lieutenant Colonel uh, who also warned that the nation's stockpile of equipment has been depleted by the biblical war in UKR, with, with what's left in the UK only enough for a couple of months at most. Now, it says here, earlier this week, General, sir, I'm going to skip the rest of the name, 
who as chief of general staff is the head of the British Army, said Britain needs to be ready to fight a war within three years. Citing warnings from the Bear, North K and Persia, once again and Lieutenant Colonel who served in the 4th Royal Tank Regiment for two decades said Sir Royal was right to highlight the urgency. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Emphasizing Britain will be unlikely to go to war with the bear without the rest of NATO being involved. He nevertheless added on land we be hard pressed to put two armored brigades in the field to be honest and if they were involved in continuous direct combat of the sort we see in UKR then they might last a fortnight or so before being withdrawn or rotated to re-equip, rearm, and rest. You got multiple nations here really sounding the alarm. Lithuania just, uh, you know, announced that uh, they're preparing for war and getting evacuation plans and all that. Hellsbold just announced they're going to be evacuating. They fear a response is coming from the Holy Land. The Bear, Russia's country, again, they're getting all the facility, hospital bed and all that ready across the country. I mean, you see what's going on here? And now we got ships, uh, the Bear ships here of Cuba, not too far from Florida. They back! All right, the problem here is we might not have the manpower, equipment, or material to reconstitute them as a fighting force again. So you might regard them as a light, a fire and forget equipment. Once they gone, they're gone. With respect, oh, by the way, guys, before I forget, uh, $3.2 billion worth of equipment magically disappeared oh, or possibly 3.2 billion is just short I mean it seems like something happened to the money or something happened to it to the equipment that's supposed to go to the yellow and blue country and then it made it so just like that it seems like someone has something the problem here is we might not have the manpower equipment so we're gonna skip all that with respect to stockpiles of ammunition and other material the figure were classified. However, he added, if you take a calculated guess at what might remain after probably nearly half of the UK holdings of some natures have been donated to the Yellow Blue Country Capital, then I suspect that what's left might last a couple of months at most. For example, artillery ammunition Exponential rates are between 6,000 and 10,000 pounds per day in UKR, outside of major offensive when they will be much, much more. <clears throat> As the recently outgoing CGS General Sir Patrick said, the actual figures of our stock holdings will make your hair stand on ed end. Excuse me. Military historian and journalist Mr. Mark voiced similar concerns when speaking to Jeremy. And we're going to skip all this here. He said, um, in practice terms, it means we got far too few bullets, bombs, missiles, and torpedoes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when um, you know they give all this stuff to the yellow and blue country. We are willing to move heaven and earth. That's their saying. We are willing to move heaven and earth. For the yellow and blue country, we will um, sacrifice everything for the yellow and blue country. And now, they basically, they barely have anything. So over the last 15 years, when the UK was engaged in fighting in Afghan and Iraq, they just ran down the numbers. And if you talk to people in the military, they'll tell you now that numbers of some of these advanced equipments are scarily low. Really, only enough for the UK military to be able to fight for literally a few days if it come to that. Nevertheless, Sam, a researcher, uh, excuse me, a research fellow at the Royal United Services Institute, told the news 
it was important to avoid what he called unhelpful oversimplifications. All right. So give me a second here, guys. We're going to go with the next one. Whoops. There we go. Now we're going to see what's going on with these updates. So there is war. There is outages. There is cyber. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Man. We got some uh, outages, blackouts, cybers, war. Man. It's just happening all in front of our faces. Several further reports has surfaced in regards to the power outages in Paris. Several social media users reported that the outages weren't as widespread as others reported. However, some reported that their power went out for a few minutes before coming back on. Alright, so it wasn't like a huge, massive outage. That being the case, one person in Paris shared an image of the skyline illuminated, so it appears that any power outages have been resolved. There is no power outages happening in Paris. Hmm. So what in the world is going on here? Yeah, but that was supposed at 7.36 p.m. The outage happened like around 4 or 5. So there appears to be reported major power outages in Paris, France on Sunday. The city is in the middle of the games with the events get kicking off Friday. Several people have reported the outage on X, formerly Twitter, at this time were not sure how widespread the issue is. And the exact cause, one person shared the complete darkness on X will keep you updated as we learn more about the situation and exactly what's going on. At this time, we got, at this time, we not, we not got an official confirmation on these power outages. Just then, widespread, widespread power outages reported in Paris. So what's going on here? This comes after a series of hours strike in the city. On Friday, the strike affected the city transit system SNCF, a French railway company commented on that issue. Due to the coordinated acts of malice in France, affecting several high-speed lines, several high-speed trains are being diverted or canceled. Our team are fully mobilized in station in the call centers and aboard to ensure that all passengers are informed and can reach their destination. Customers are being informed via email, SMS, or on a website. They can cancel their journey free of charge be funded or modify their journey free of charge. Paris hit with, you know what, amid the games. The strike caused damage to several facilities. I'm gonna skip that. Now, this massive event on the high speed train network will cause disruption at least until the end of the weekend. I would like to assure, assure all our customer of the full mobilization of railway workers to restore train circulation as quickly as possible. Okay. Now guys, you seen the picture of the blue person, right? Again, I'm not gonna show the nothing because now it's coming to a point that they are really going after those videos now. Um, so our video got hit 
But uh, again, the blue person from the Olympic, right? The blue person on the table, you know, supposedly the Last Supper. Well, um, <clears throat> I want to show you guys something. You guys remember that video I posted about these cards here? Remember these cards? Remember this card? Okay, d again, these cards was released back in 1995, right? So, uh, you guys already know this is uh, enough is enough. We heard this many times. Even Hulk Hogan at the RNC said, Enough was enough when he tried to take out my hero. So, again, <laughs> but... Uh, Again, you guys already know this card. At any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. Look at this. That looks like the B-U-L-L-E-T, right? And right here is like the ear. That could be the ear right there. So these cards were released back in 1995. But we have more breaking news. The blue person appears in the card. <laughs> Man, look at this. Give me a second here, guys. I'm going to have to look for it. Give me a second. I can't show too much. I'm trying to look for the card first. I don't want to show all these cards because... The platform is being really straight. They are. The platform is being really, really, really straight. So you have this one here. It is really alive or does it just think it is? At least it can be linked to any computer group or the network. That group may take an extra action. This could possibly be also an AI. All right. But there's another card here. And it's really hard to look for them and I remember it because oh uh, here we go so 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 you have something like this here you got another blue one so you have uh, these cards that were released back in 1998 you got some blue people here And like I said, there's a lot more to it. I do believe a lot of this stuff has been planned for many years. They even have things for 2050. They have plans already for 2050. And also, they have one of the what happened in... 2001 I cannot show that card every time I show that card I get hit <laughs> man but uh, you guys get the picture here this you know there's been some stuff going on give me a second here let me see if I could try to find more of this blue people stuff I wish I could show the uh, the two stones that were hit if you guys know what I'm saying the two stones are the uh, Again, what happened in 2001. Give me a second here. All 
Alright, so yeah, I can't find it, but um, I remember back in 2010, there were a lot of people talking about those cards. And those cards basically is fear uh, it's basically is it's a future world event stuff so a lot of these cards came true <laughs> and it's you know i do believe is all is all planned is all prepared you know they got stuff prepared for the year 2040 2050 it's not no prophecy stuff guys we have more breaking news updates um this is going to be a little bit off topic here uh, we have a storm and this thing looks like it's about to head to Florida we need to keep an eye open on this one here guys this is a very very concerning uh, Florida and southeast uh, US should stay vigilant late next week this thing I believe is gonna be a monster alright so we need to keep an eye on this one here we need to keep an eye on this one here Try and see if there's any more news information. And it seems like this is a... Uh yeah, it seems like this is going to be it, guys. Yeah, this is going to be it. <coughs> the entire world reacted to the performance of last night. The entire world reacted. Pull, uh, again, Vladimir, the bear leader, he said, I, I can't deal with this no more. They have lost their minds. Those are W-E-S-T has become so abomination. It, it's just really sad. It's really disgusting. I can't believe it's happening to Sleeping Giant. I can't believe that. Sleeping Giant that once stood for our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, is now a demonic empire. That's where we are right now, guys. The end of the greatest empire that have ever risen, the Sleeping Giant, is about to collapse. It's going to be the end. It's not coming back from this. Uh, again, the 4 or 5 said that he's going to fix it. No. The 4 or 5 say that he's going to make it great again. No. He's not. Not even King David could have stopped the enemies. Not even, you know, again, you have all these mighty warriors. Uh, again, the 4 or 5, it's not going to bring peace. He's not going to do it. It's a fallen world. So, again... We just need to focus on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share this video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the right this path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.